Hi, Rhetoric 101 class. If you were in class on Friday, you heard us introduce the idea of using Digo for various things throughout the semester. And you know that for Monday, I want you to do a practice assignment, an assignment that's not going to be graded, something that I just want you to practice with so that when we come back to class on Monday, we can all find out what each other's problems were before there's something that you actually get graded on. This is totally low stakes. So let me show you what I want you to do for Monday. First, you have to create an account at Digo. I'm not going to walk you through that. You go to digo.com, D-I-I-G-O, and you can see that I'm logged in here because I see my username right there and I see a sign out option. So once you're logged in, after you've already done that, then you click this tools button here in the upper right. You see it? If I click tools, it's going to show me various ways to install Digo into my web browser. Now, right now, I'm using Google Chrome. So what I would do is choose this first one, the web highlighter on Chrome. If I were using Internet Explorer, that's what IE means, or Firefox, I would choose the second one, Digo Toolbar. It's really easy to install. They walk you through it. If you have any problem with that, their help is really awesome. If you choose help up here and try searching for it. So let's say I've already installed it, which I actually have. I know I have because I see this little D up there in my browser. That's a Digo D. Whenever I want to turn Digo's functionality on, whenever I want to highlight something or add a sticky note to something I find online, I want to click that button. So let me show you what that looks like in practice. Let's go to our course over here in Moodle, right? I'm going to scroll down. Under the PDF version of the syllabus is a second version of the syllabus that's been there since the first day. The reason this version is here, the one for highlighting and commenting, is for this assignment that I want you to do for Monday. So go ahead and click that. It should open a new window or a new tab and bring you to an exact copy of the syllabus just laid out as a web page. It's not quite as pretty, which is why I do the PDF version too. Now, I want to find something on here that I have a comment or a question about. Make it something that you actually have a comment or question about. Read through the entire thing, find something that's actually confusing. It's okay to ask a question. It's okay to complain. It's also okay to say, oh, this is cool. I like this a lot. Here's how I'm going to approach it. Anything you want. I need to make sure I turn Digo on. So now that I'm on this page, I'm going to click that little blue button. That again, remember, is it's only there because I went to the Tools page on Digo and I clicked Web Highlighter for, on Chrome and installed it through that. I'm going to go ahead and turn Digo on and I get this little option here. Now, the first time it might ask me to log in, but because I see these options, I know that I'm already logged in. Now that Digo is on, well, I can highlight anything I want here. Say this first sentence. I First, I just select it by clicking and holding down the left um, left mouse button. When I let go, this little option should pop up, highlight. That's only there because Digo is on. If I hadn't turned Digo on up here, I wouldn't see this highlight option. That's the important thing that most people forget. Let's go ahead and click it. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see, the that sentence is highlighted, and every time I come back to this page and turn Digo on, that sentence will be highlighted for me. It's a way to remember things that mattered to me as I was reading through the page. Again, if you were in class on Friday, we already talked about that. Now say I want to add a sticky note to that highlight. I want to add a little comment or I add, want to add a question. I'm going to hover over something that I've already highlighted and I should see this little pencil mark show up there in the upper left. Do you see that? If I hover over that pencil mark, I get the option add sticky note. Now that's exactly what I want to do. I want to add a sticky note to that highlight. Um, did you get the order here? Turn to go on, then highlight, then add sticky note. Now I can type whatever I want. I can type, this sentence is awesome. I love, spell it right, I love it so, 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 so much. Um, or whatever. Now, the second option, you see that it's, right now it's only going to save it to my private account. So no one will be able to see what I highlighted and um, commented on except for me, which sometimes is great, right? I don't want everyone to know my opinions on everything I read on the, on the web. But I can also choose one of these groups. I happen to be in a few different groups because I like Digo a lot. Now, one of them, hopefully you will see RET 101 Fall 2012. If you don't see that, don't worry about it. I'm going to add you to the group, but that is not what I'm most worried about for Monday. But if you can, go ahead and choose RET 101. Now, that means that when I click Post, it's going to save this so it's private from everyone on the web except the people in our class. So think about the, the social collaboration here, the sharing that we get to do. Once I post this, 
see this little one that shows up? If I hover over it, I can see my note. Now, that means that if any of the rest of you come to this page, you click the Digo to turn it on, you'll also be able to see what I wrote, and you'll even be able to click your set, add your own sentences and respond to it. No, it's not. I hate that sentence. Blah, blah, blah. If I choose to save it to the group, now Digo knows that there are two notes about that highlighted sentence. That's exactly what I want you to do. If you come to class on Monday, having successfully done that, you are awesome, awesome, awesome. Really, really quick, if you are in Firefox, a different browser, it works a little bit different. The, e the, the good thing about doing this in Firefox is that you don't have to turn it on and off. If the Digo toolbar is here, if you installed that on the tools page of Digo, then every time anyone has added a note, as I have here, or if I go down here to what we just did, it just shows up automatically. If you're scrolling on a page, you'll be like, oh, someone has already written on here. Sometimes you'll even see public highlights and public sticky notes that people who've used Digo for a long time have added there as well. We don't care about that right now. This is all I really want you to do. Hope it makes sense. See you on Monday.